All right, everyone, semi-annual reminder to please like this video and share it around. Share the channel around because it's the only way that my shit grows anymore, at least on YouTube, because I'm buried behind the algorithms. We got to talk about Epstein, again, for like this fucking 17th time. The number of weird things that have happened with regards to the Epstein case is already high enough so that I, my personal belief is that if you believe the official storyline, you're a moron. This just goes to prove that more, which is, you know that they had cell footage outside of the cell. I think they were planning to, like, you know, release it to calm the public's fears, but, you know, all <laughs> accidentally got deleted. Yeah, when's the last time, by the way, can I ask you something, those fellow computer users, when the last time that you actually permanently, accidentally deleted something beyond even topical data recovery? When's the last time that that actually happened? Most of the time when data is destroyed, you've catastrophically fucked up an electronic device. You know, like Hillary Clinton taking a hammer to uh, materials that have been used for uh, confidential purposes by the State Department and then uh, dumping them in a bathtub full of ammonia, I suppose. Uh, that's, that's how data is lost. You don't lose data by accidentally pressing delete when you were going to press copy. Usually any competently installed computer system, you have to click through two or three things to delete something anyway. And then you have to click through again to actually erase it. And then you have to fuck up the data sector in order to make it beyond recovery. So you're telling me that, that the footage outside of Jeffrey Epstein's cell, the night he died, that's gone too. So we don't have surveillance inside the cell. We don't have surveillance outside. His, he was mysteriously taken off suicide watch right beforehand and I guess braided like toilet paper into a rope to hang himself with by doing a somersault off a bed three feet off the ground. That's what they want me to believe. Well, I don't believe that, and I think that you're a moron if you do. Um, it's quite clearly a cover-up at this point. There, we've got no evidence of it being anything other than a cover-up. There are too many things purely, clearly wrong here. The, the negligence alone, if you assumed that the official storyline that he really did authentically, genuinely just off himself, if you actually believe that, you have to stretch your imagination into the netherworld to imagine a situation in which everyone around him has simply been totally incompetent. This is just like the O.J. Simpson trial after a fashion. Now, let me, let me take this metaphor and explain it. During the O.J. Simpson trial, the level of misconduct and negligence shown by groups of police and investigators was, was enormous. Their incompetence was sheer. If you believe that there weren't at least a few people who were acting in that manner to deliberately throw the trial in order to prevent civil war, which is what they thought uh, in the wake of, of some of the other problems they had had in L.A. recently, this loomed large as a race issue, if you think that it was all pure misconduct and that there wasn't some sort of uh, a further problem involved, some sort of corruption, I, I think you're dumb. Of course there was, because there's every reason for it to be. Always look at what the, the cost versus the reward is. If you're telling me that somebody on a case, somebody who's, who's got any training whatsoever, would accidentally delete footage of this kind, this would be considered top priority footage to store and, and keep safe and, and make backups of. You're telling me that there were no backups made, it was erased, and it's irretrievable on whatever computer system is being used, and that this happened totally by accident. I don't believe it. I think you've got to be fucking kidding me if you believe it. And these people have got to be fucking kidding the whole nation if they think that anyone's going to take it seriously. They did a recent poll. I think more than 50% of Americans explicitly don't believe that Epstein even killed himself. And even then, let's say that you do. The circumstances surrounding it reek of a cover-up even if you assume that he did. And I don't, by the way. I think he was murdered. I, I stand with the majority of Americans. It's funny. The majority of Americans don't believe a fucking word of the story. When are we going to get any form of explanation as to all the weird shit happening around Epstein? Meanwhile, we've got that photo of Clinton on the Lolita Express there with one of his sex slaves, but it's a I didn't inhale moment, uh, as several people have put it. Oh, no, no, there's nothing weird going on here. I had no idea that Epstein was pimping people on his island that I visited five fucking times. I think we just probably discovered the reason why the, uh, the cell footage was deleted. Yeah, again, accidentally. Totally mysterious. It's a mystery as to how these things happen. Over and over again, over the course of months, they keep happening. No, I don't believe it at all. I think he was murdered. 
I think he was murdered by powerful people, and I think that those powerful people get off, at least in part, on, on making sure that the public is uncomfortable with the situation. Sort of like a game. They know they're not going to get caught because they know that everyone involved with the investigation is either on the payroll or too fucking scared to speak out. It's a good place to be when you get to that point. Sort of like Spacey there with his recent video that predates the suicide of one of his accusers by about 24 hours for the third time that's happened. Very interesting how these things work. I'm beginning to think that it's not Cosby and Weinstein and people like that, or even Epstein that are the linchpins. I'm starting to think there might be a little bit, a hand behind that puppet there, so to speak. Of course, when you say this, you're considered a conspiracy theorist. Well, I mean, how else am I supposed to fucking explain the situation? The, I mean, sheer human incompetence comes to mind, but it's just too much incompetence for me to possibly handle. It's too big a coincidence. Oh yeah, we lost this footage, we never made that footage, several cameras malfunctioned, the guards fell asleep, one of them wasn't even a guard, he hanged himself three feet off the bed by doing a somersault. I, oh, yeah, I totally believe this, dude. It's, t it's totally not even more fucking mysterious than the JFK assassination, which probably involved multiple parties too. But again, just a conspiracy theory. Government assures me that nothing is wrong. You know what I think? I think sometimes the government's not responsible. The government covers it up out of a sense of fucking shame because they're terrified that people will realize how powerless they really are to deal with some of the oligarchs in the country. How about that one? That's about all. Peace out.